Hey guys, Matt Guzman here, back with another video, and today's gonna be about my status update of an Eagle Scout in only two years. So, in this video, I'll be going over camping requirements for Tenderfoot, Second Class, and First Class. And in case you don't know what those ranks are, Tenderfoot covers basic information about camping, cooking, tools, first aid, etc. And it's just some of the basic knowledge you should know about those topics. And then, Second Class goes a little in, in detail. It's a little more advanced because there's more stuff that you need to do or the requirements are in more detail of what you need to do. And then first class covers the same information like camping, cooking, tools, first aid, etc. Except those are the really, really specific things that it wants you to know. So that takes longer to do and I'm working on first class at the moment and some of the stuff that I need to do or that I have done is camping. So, Tenderfoot Requirement 1A in Camping and Outdoor Ethics says to present yourself to your leader prepared for an overnight camping trip. Show the right way to pack and carry your camping gear. 1B says spend at least one night on a patrol or troop campout and sleep in a tent you have helped pitched. 1C says tell how you practice the outdoor code on a camping or outing. There are other things you can do, but they're more related to cooking. Uh, one of them says, like, while on a campout, demonstrate the appropriate method of safely cleaning items. But that's, those, those are usually done on a campout, but that's more leaning towards the cooking side. So I'll discuss those in another video. Moving on to second class, uh, and 1A of Camping and Outdoor Ethics, it says, since joining, participate in five separate troop slash patrol activities. Three of them have to be overnight camping. So outings or activities basically just means anything besides a troop meeting. So like a hike or a backpacking trip or a cycling trip. But it, need, it says three of them need to be on a campout. So it says spend the night in a tent that you pitch or the structure that you help you erect. Um, I just slept in a tent because tents are easy. I mean, if you know how to do them. 1B says to explain the principles of leave no trace and tell how you practice them on a campout or outing, but it has to be different from the one used in Tenderfoot Requirement 1C. On second class 1C, it says on one of the campouts, select a location for your patrol site and recommend it to your patrol leader. Explain what factors you should consider when choosing a, pat a patrol site and where to pitch a tent. And once again, there's more stuff on cooking, but some of the stuff a lot of it's usually done on an actual campout. Like one of them says, explain when it is appropriate to use a fire for cooking or other purposes and when it would not be appropriate to do so. And that's 2A. And there's a bunch of other that, others there that, you, that are usually done in a campout. But moving on to first class. Uh, camping and outdoor ethics, 1A of first class. Since joining, participate in 10 separate troop slash patrol activities six of which include overnight camping. These 10 activities do not include troop or patrol meetings. On at least five of the six campouts, spend the night in a tent that you pitch or other structure that you help you erect. So it's kind of the same as the first, uh, as the second class one, except instead of five patrol activities, you need 10. 1B says explain each of the principles of tread lightly and tell how you practice them on a campout or outing. It has to be different from the ones used for tenderfoot requirement 1C and second class requirement 1B. So, what I did was, well, if you are gonna get these requirements, you need to at least go in three separate campouts because the requirements say to have them be different from the others used in the other ranks. The only exception is the camping outdoor ethics one where it says, since joining, participate in so-and-so separate troop slash patrol activities. That doesn't mean 10 more or five more, it just means overall. So for second class, it means five of them are overall. First class, it means 10 overall, so you only need 5 more. You get what I'm saying? And just like with second class and tenure foot, there's also some stuff in cooking as well. So one of them is like, show which pans, utensils, and other gear that will be needed to cook and serve these meals. That's on 2C. And 2E literally says, on one campout, serve as a cook. And you're supposed to prepare breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So, that's some stuff you can do. But, like I said in the beginning, first class has more specific things. So, on tools, it says 3C, demonstrate tying the shear, square, and diagonal lashings by joining two or more poles or staves together. 
and the one after that, 3D, says use those lashings to make a useful camp gadget or structure. Useful camp gadget. So when I was doing this requirement, we built a flagpole. Now, there is some stuff to do with fire. Back in second class, it's 2C and 2B are, are for fire. So 2B of cooking and tools of second class says use the tools listed in 10 foot requirement 3D to prepare tinder, kindling, and fuel wood for a cooking lot fire. 2C says at an approved outdoor location, use that tinder, kindling, and fuel wood to demonstrate how to build a fire. So those are some of the stuff you can do on a campout pertaining to cooking and camping, most of the stuff being with camping. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like the video and turn on notifications on this channel. And look out for any other videos I have pertaining to rank advancement and, and for an Eagle Scout. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!